Hello, my name is Jeff Robles here. So today we're going to be reviewing 86 foot Miss Vidal. Okay, so this review is coming out today, obviously because Vidal is going to be out tomorrow and he is one player that I used to love on FIFA. So I was really interested to, uh, to see if he was worth it. So looking at his card, it's obviously not the same as like previous FIFAs where he was an absolute monster with higher pace, but we expect him to have okay pace, decent shooting, decent passing, decent dribbling, very good defending and his 88 physical, you expect him to be an absolute tank. Now, in terms of cheaper alternatives, the only one is his normal, which is absolutely shit. So, there isn't really any cheaper alternative for this. It's If you want to do it, you'll do it. Otherwise, just don't even bother. Okay, so looking at his stats, as I said, the biggest thing that's going to throw off a few people is his pace. Like, at this time of the year, people have, like, insane cards. Bar fucking myself. Um, I'm still using Fabinho and Sissoko in the midfield. But... His pace is probably the one thing that might put off a few people. Now, apart from that, across, you know, all the stats, he's really well-balanced. He has always been a really well-balanced player. So, what i done today is I put a shadow on him just to see if that pace increase would just make him a little bit better in the midfield because most people play a 4-1-2-1-2 or a 4-4-2 or... You know, something with two strikers, or they play a 4 2 3 1, or something that will just, you know, they'll sit back and counter. So I want to make sure that he has enough pace that if players do counter, he can catch up and win the ball. Okay, so this is the team that I use. Now, obviously, that is not the front three. I changed it. I had to sub on a few players. So um, Vidal played at center defensive mid, mainly in a 4 2 3 1, though I used them in a 4 3 1 2 and also in a 4 4 2. Okay, so getting into the clips, Vidal is he, he's decent. Like for for 70k, this guy wins the ball back to fuck. He wins the ball back so much, and he is way better than his 84. Much, much better than his 84. Um He isn't like it's hard to explain this card. Like he isn't there's always one type of card where I'll say, like, oh, this is his best feature. Vidal is just a very good all-rounder. He does like his best feature is he wins the ball back. Consistently keeps winning the ball back. His shooting is kind of crap, not gonna lie. His long shots, fair enough, but like you'll see one clip here where he just misses a fucking sitter of a chance. Um but in terms of like sitting back, win the ball. Even pressing high up and winning the ball, he is amazing at that. Really, really good at that. It's just don't be expecting him to be, you know, a Vieira. Or don't expect him to be, like, amazing at one particular thing. So, on the weighted average, you get to 7.9. We'll go through the stats now. And, as you can see from my thoughts, I feel it's a little bit harsh. But we'll go through it now, anyway. Okay, so, pace, 8 out of 10. Now, this is only because I put the shadow on him. If the shadow was not on him, I would probably give him lower. Now, I didn't try him lower. As I said, I just done the loan. Um, but his pace is decent. It's quick enough to get back and defend. Obviously, a lot better than Fabinho. 100% a lot better than Fabinho. He moves way quicker. Um, but yeah, decent pace. Shooting, 7 out of 10. As you saw, he missed a sitter. But his long shots are decent. There's no, There was nothing in the clips that made you go, wow. But there were a few times where like he was close enough that I would give him a 7. Passing, 8 out of 10. His passing is decent. It's not, um... For some midfielders, the passing is a little bit dodgy at times. But his passing was decent. It's nothing amazing. He gets the job done. Same in his dribbling. It's a lot better than, you know, like the crappier players that I have in my team. His dribbling is just really well balanced. He can move the ball quick. He can get the ball out of his feet and get the ball up. And his strength, an 8.5 out of 10. As you've seen, the guy, realistically... If you're coming up against, obviously, icons and really stronger players, he won't win the back against them. And that's the reason why I've knocked 1.5 off. But overall, he's really, really strong. Just winning the ball back on one and ones Really, really good. The overall of 7.5, though, is a little bit harsh. Um, though I've said, without the shadow, that would be lower. And it definitely would, because the, the shadow, <clears throat> the difference between... I think his normal and this in terms of pace is only plus three. So, like, I doubt it's going to make a huge difference. Now, the shadow makes a, an incredible difference in terms of his pace. But if that shadow was not on him, it would be a little bit worrying. Um, I would probably give him... If I was giving him a rating, I would probably give him... I wouldn't give him... I was, I was thinking to put in, like, an 8.5. I don't think an 8.5 would be fair on him. I think... 
between 8 and an 8.5, probably like an 8.3, around there, somewhere around there would really be what I would think would be a fair rating for him. Um, but for 70k lads, he's definitely worth it. I'm going to do him after, like, for, for the players that I have in my team who are shit, he is much better at just sitting there and winning the fucking ball back and moving the ball quickly, so I'm definitely going to do him. Right lads, anyway, um, this review obviously came out tonight, so I will do my best to get the rest of the reviews done i will try my best tomorrow because obviously it's christmas day but yeah anyway happy christmas lads and cheers for watching